So I recently got a question from someone asking how to connect an external booking calendar page to a page in system.io. Well, his actual question here is, can I send people from a squeeze page to an external calendar booking page? And the answer is yes, you can. And there's two ways you could do it. My preferred method is to embed that booking form onto another page in system.io, like your thank you page, for example. But I'll show you that first, and then I'll show you the second method after, and you can decide which method's best for you. So once you're logged into your system.io account, you need to come over to funnels. And at this point, I'm presuming you've already got your funnel or your landing page set up. However, if you haven't, and you still need to know how to create a sales funnel, then you can watch this video here on my channel. Or if you need to know how to set up a landing page with a thank you page, then watch this video here. Now, both those videos are gonna be linked up in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find them. There's also a link down there where you can get 40% off of the startup plan in system.io if you're at the point where you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan. So if you are at that point and you use that link, you'll get 40% off. So just to let you know, if you do use that link to upgrade to your paid plan, then that is my affiliate link. So that means I'll receive a thank you commission from system.io, but that's at no extra cost to you. So if you do decide to make that decision, then thank you very much. I do really appreciate you supporting this channel. So once we're in the funnel section of system.io, you need to select the funnel or the landing page that you're working on. Now I've already got this set up on my coaching consulting page. So let me just show you what that looks like in action. So you can see how this form is embedded on a live page. So this is my coaching and consulting page where people can book in a one-to-one -one call with me. So on this page is where they will make the payment. And then once they submit the payment, they're diverted to the thank you page. And now here on the thank you page, I have the calendar form embedded here where they can select the time slot. So this is method one, this is my preferred method. And I'm gonna show you how to embed this calendar form on any page you want to in system.io. It doesn't have to be a thank you page, it can be on the landing page or wherever. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this with Calendly, but you should be able to do this with any booking platform because they all should have an embed feature. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up this booking page on uh, this dog training funnel. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what this funnel's about, just wanna show you any squeeze page and then I'm gonna divert to a thank you page where we're gonna embed that form. So on the squeeze page, if I go to edit, so this is currently the squeeze page. If I check the button here in the side menu here, it says action when button clicked, that's to submit the form. So that will submit their person's email address to your autoresponder. And then underneath it's asking, do you want to redirect users after contact registration? And the option we've checked is to the next step. So that means when the button's clicked, the person will be sent to the next page in the funnel, which is the thank you page. So if we go back to the funnel steps, select the thank you page, go to edit. And now here, this is currently how we've got the thank you page set up. But let's say, for example, instead of this video here, you want to have your form embedded. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna embed the form here. So if I go to Calendly, now in Calendly, you're gonna first wanna set up your event, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one call or whatever. So I'm not gonna show you the whole process of that. I presume you know how to do that. But just in case you don't, you'd click this button here, new event type, and then you would select your type if it's a one-to-one -one group call or collective or whatever. And then here, you'd then select the duration, you give your event a name, you choose location if it's on Zoom or Google Meet or whatever. So that's basically what you do to set it up. Once it's set up, you wanna come back to this page where your event is now set and ready. And now you need to come to this little cog icon here. And then you select this option that says add to website. Click on this. Now the three options we get the one we want is inline embed. So click on this and then click continue. And now Calendly gives you this embed code here. So you highlight this and copy this embed code and you come back to your funnel. And now I'm just gonna delete this video. And the option from the elements in the sidebar here, one we want is this one here that says raw HTML. So if I'm going to put this here, for example, drop it in and now click on this little cog icon and in the left menu bar here, it says edit code. Click on edit code. And now here is where I can paste in code and then click save. And now here, this is what we see at the moment. It looks a bit crap, but this is just how it will look inside the editor. So don't worry, this isn't broken. This is what it's supposed to look like. So if I click on save changes, and now we click on the eye icon to see what our page will look like. And now here is our form embedded on our thank you page. Now that's how I suggest you do it. But since this guy's question was, can we send people from a squeeze page to an external calendar booking page? So for example, if you didn't want to embed that page on another page in system.io, but you just wanted to send them to the external website where that booking form is hosted, for example, on Calendly, then this is option two, how you can do it that way around. So for method two, we're gonna go back to our funnel and we're gonna go to the squeeze page. 
So with this method, if I go to edit, this time we're not gonna be sending the person to the thank you page. All we're gonna be doing is configuring this button. So once it's clicked, it will submit the form, but then it will automatically redirect the person to the external page where our booking calendar is hosted. So in this case, go back to system.io and now this time, click the gear icon. And instead of going to add website, instead we're gonna click copy link. And now if I paste this link in the browser, it will just bring us to the booking form here. And this is hosted on Calendarly's website, not on system.io. So for this method, we've copied that link, comes to the button, now on the left sidebar here, the first option is still the same, action when button clicked is still to submit the form. But now the second question where it says, do you want to redirect the user after contact registration? Instead of selecting to the next step, which is what we had in number one, but in this method for number two, we're gonna to select to a custom URL. And now this other box appears here. We're gonna paste in the URL here and then click save changes and that is it. Once a person enters their contact details in here and clicks this button, they'll be redirected to this page that will look like this on Calendly's website. So there's two options how you can do it. So that's it, pretty simple, two methods for you. So choose whichever one's best for you. Now, if you got value out of this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you wanna know how to split test your landing pages so you can improve the conversion rate of those pages, then this is the next video you wanna watch. Or if you've got other questions about system.io, then you can check out my system.io playlist here.